crossbow, first put your foot securely in the foot stirrup. Then, using the cocking rope provided, attach to the bowstring itself. The hooks must be facing outwards in what's known as the hooks up position. When cocking the crossbow, instead of pulling with the arms, seat your foot in the stirrup and lean back using your whole body. This will make the bow much easier to cock and will reduce fatigue and minimise the risk of injury. Now, a leading cause of dry fire is not cocking the bow to completion before letting go of the rope. So, to ensure that the crossbow is fully cocked, give the rope a few pulls before releasing. The bolt must be loaded with the odd coloured fletching facing downwards. Again, push it back until you hear the click. This will ensure that the bolt's moon-shaped knock is properly seated on the string. Whilst the crossbow is cocked, do not place your fingers inside the string and always ensure that you are wearing the appropriate protection. You are now ready to take the safety off and fire. Choosing the right bolts is important not just for accuracy, but also for safety. If the bolt is too short, it risks hitting the inside of the limbs and damaging the crossbow and injuring yourself or others. This carbon fibre bolt is of a much better length as it protrudes past the end of the rail. Now, crossbows are pretty tough, but it's important to keep them well lubricated with the wax provided. Apply liberally to the rail and strings to ensure everything stays in working order. It's a bad idea to keep your crossbow cocked for long periods of time, as this can cause damage and even lead to a dry fire. To avoid this, never cock the crossbow without reason to shoot it, and always ensure you have a target ready to take the bolt. With these tips and tricks, you should be ready to get shooting straight away.